this spreadsheet we're going to speak about volatility, how it's calculated, and how we can use it with our pricing models for options. In finance, the implied volatility of an options contract is the volatility implied by the market price. This is all based on what type of option pricing model is used. In other words, it's the volatility given a particular pricing model this will yield a theoretical value for that option equal to the current market value. This is very handy when a limited amount of information is available and we need to find out what a volatility is. So in this case we're going to call it an implied volatility. When we have the strike price, a call price, a put price, a time in days, and a risk-free rate, we can get an implied volatility. And in this case it would be 20.16. Another type of volatility is doing it the long way when we calculate the daily volatility for options. So what we do in here is we just say we have 60 days worth of data and what the stock closed at for that day. We have the stock price. Over here this takes a log of the stock price. And once we get down, this takes the difference. So this is the difference of these two logs. And this will be the difference of the daily log. We come down here and we we take we want to calculate what's the variance. So we calculate the variance for this column. We need to find the an annual variance, the Black Scholes option price pricing model works on annual values, annual interest rates, and annual trading days. So since we trade 260 days a year, we will multiply the daily variance and have an annual variance. Hence we need to have an annual volatility and that will be the square root of the annual variance. So this is actually pretty tight. If you look up here, it really hasn't gone up too much, a little bit. And so the volatility of this stock would happen to be about 13.14%. Just say we have more or less days than what I have down here. I have 62, which is in 62 days. I left the password here. As you can see on the bottom, it said variance. So we go to data, excuse me, tools, protection, unprotect worksheet and type in variance. If we have less days we can just delete them and this formula will adjust itself accordingly. However if we have more days, just say we have 65 days, so we're going to need to add two more days here. Left click highlight, right click copy, come down to the cell, insert copy cells, and then you just need to change this to 61, excuse me, 63, 64, and we have 65 days. These formulas copy over automatically. Um, we change whatever data, 44.36, 38. What we need to do here now is left click here, double click, still with the left button, highlight this, and then let's choose our new area. So it changed a little bit. The variance actually was a little made a little bit tighter. It was 13.14 before, now it's 13.02. So that's how you would change it. If you had 90 days, you would just continue to add more. Same thing, come in here, left click. Highlight your first cell, go to the top, and that's all. Strongly suggest that you lock this back down when you're done. Because it's very easy to delete one of these cells, and if you delete one of these cells, your answer will just be wrong. Monthly volatility. When we know what the price was at the end of the month, we might have this data. This is for a two-year period. Same thing, the log, enter your, date, your, uh, and enter your information here. Here's the log. 12 months. The 
this will give you a monthly variance even though we have 24 months and this will give you an annual variance and the same thing we could go up here unprotected add cells as you would like this is the number that you would use in the Black-Scholes model for variance here